Hello everyone. This video is going to be about pigeon fluke. It's an old video that I posted some time ago, but there are so many new subscribers that have come to this channel. It's time to put it up again. But before we do that, again, I need your help on another channel. I'm going to provide a link to it. Please go over there, pick out a video, and subscribe. With that said, we're going to be talking about Pigeon Fluke. And I'm going to end this here now and put attach this video to that video so that you could see all about Pigeon Fluke. And that's a parasite that you really don't want in your loft. Okay, thank you. At this point, it'll continue soon. Hello everyone. This is a video I had done on fluke. They're a parasite that pigeons can contract. And uh, I had a situation recently where a person asked me what another person gave his pigeons for worms. He sent me a video, or not, not a video, a picture of the medication. And it turns out that it was uh, Ivermec Plus. Now, I didn't really know much about Ivermec Plus. I knew about Ivermec, but not the Plus. And it turns out that there's a drug in there that can uh, remove or reduce liver fluke, which is very important to us as pigeon racers. And it's amazing how things work out. You learn something every day. I always say it, keep learning and keep on the lookout for new drugs. But I do believe that they've taken the Ivermec off the market. So I'm going to be looking for some other drugs. I know there's a couple in the Whitney book, and I'll probably put them up on here in captions because I'm not going to attempt to pronounce some of those words. So it's just kind of like an update on fluke, especially liver fluke, because many of us know from videos in the past about the Cori cycle. So I'm going to stop it now, but I'm going to continue this video when I get more information. For the moment, thank you for watching. As you can see, I posted the name of the parasite. I think it's pronounced a channelism, a revelism. Forgive me for not saying it right. Best I could do is put it in a Google Translator. But that's the name of the liver parasite that we're talking about. As I mentioned earlier, the parasite lives in the liver and the urinary tract. It was also seen in Brazil and Puerto Rico and the Philippines. In Puerto Rico, it was found to be in 19 of 20 pigeons. Now, Whitney used tetrachloride ethylene, which is a, a cleaning agent for dry cleaning. I kind of think I would rather find some Ivermec Plus. Now, the drug that was in uh, Ivermec Plus is chlorocellin. And you could probably find that stuff online. But I want to make a point here. I'm only putting this up so that you're aware of what the pigeons get and what you can do to treat it. But you better be very careful if you're considering buying these things independently and giving it to your pigeons 
just be very careful. I do know with the Ivermec Plus, it didn't hurt the birds. In fact, it helped the birds. So I would be looking for that product and not just uh, trying things to experiment with. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is looking into some natural foods or supplements that eradicate parasites. You know, there's been a lot of talk of garlic and some of these other things that remove parasites. I just don't think from my past experience with the pigeons that they were as effective. But I'm going to be looking into some of them things. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to be looking into is coconut oil. There's a lot of good reports about coconut oil and uh, and the meat in the in the coconuts. I'm going to be looking into some of them things to see if there's any truth to them that they can eliminate or help eradicate parasites. If anybody's got information on that, please put it in the comments and we'll share it. I think we'll end this here. I'll probably update it in the future because I think that this is a bigger problem than most people realize. Okay, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Thank you for, for watching and please subscribe. And again, if you got any input on this topic, please put it in.